Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. In many countries, there is a strong demand for staff with strong qualifications in so-called STEM subjects, i.e. science, technology, engineering and maths. According to one report, there is a demand for up to 100,000 new STEM graduates a year in the UK alone. Yet, many students drop these subjects. Why and how can they be made more attractive? We explore the subject now on Learning World. Singapore's education system has a good reputation for results, especially in maths and science. Building on this, we visit one university to see how it is training dynamic young engineers and researchers. Nanyang Technological University boasts cutting-edge research and development facilities, as well as arts and media schools. In many ways, it represents what Singapore is aiming for, solid science and technology departments, plus creative ways of thinking and teaching. It's actually more important to learn how to learn, how to use the information available, and also to be a little bit entrepreneurial uh, and understanding group leadership, social skills. So this is what we have been doing now at NTU to sort of make the education, even in engineering, a little bit softer, a little bit broader. Students studying STEM subjects on the Renaissance Engineering Programme also do business studies and social sciences. An engineer can only know uh, how, um, how to create a product. Um, he has to know if this product has a selling point, if it can appeal to the public. Um, this is when you need to know how the society works, um, more of the social science. The Singapore government is funding research at this university in fields such as clean energy, nanotechnologies and biomedical engineering. The hope is that these students will not just be qualified engineers, but leaders in their fields. It is important to be able to evolve a curriculum that is able to transform and stretch their mind beyond which they are capable to lead industries, create new industries, so that we will begin to have a technology age. This investment in education means Singapore is moving steadily towards its goal of becoming a global hub of science, technology and innovation. When it comes to encouraging students to enroll, making STEM subjects more fun to learn is obviously important, as is making them relevant to the real world. We take a look now at how baking could be an educational experience. Here in Nicosia in Cyprus, sandwiched between the UN buffer zone and the areas controlled by the Republic of Cyprus, science is about to get interesting. The local community media centre is hosting an educational science show called Vic Exploratorium and it's so amusing that all sorts of people have come along to watch. The idea behind the show is to demonstrate complicated scientific phenomena from everyday life in a way which is both fun and educational, showing that everyone can grasp scientific concepts. What is beautiful about this uh, phenomenon is that not only it can stand like that, you can put the third one, fourth one, fifth one, you know, is that uh, it also can rotate around its axis. The idea of the experiment is like to have a hands-on approach to education. A lot of people like they may hear the theories but they have no idea what is in real life and the, I have the opposite uh, 
sequence of events. Like I do the experiments to show like what is the, the actual theory behind it. It's like I come from the practical aspect of the, uh, of the science rather than starting with the theory and go to the practice. When Viken, who used to be a physics researcher at the University of Illinois, moved to Cyprus, he found it impossible to get a job as a researcher. But now he's opening an Armenian bakery, but with a science twist. I would like to do my science shows here to attract the kids and also we would like to teach them also the science of food as well because baking bakery has to do a lot with science like thermodynamics, physics and the, the biochemical effects of, uh, of bakery with, with heat. Vikan believes that science education is too important to be given up. Because of the convection, we will send some to space and maybe they will be eating some of our food. I want to raise my children in an environment where it's like fun. They have, they relate to what is science and technology is around them. They don't, they are not just like plain users. They are really, they understand what are the technologies, uh, what, what has uh, really gone into developing these technologies so that they themselves like capture the essence of it and uh, to raise in this spirit. The spirit is the most important thing. That bakery example raises a good question. How can STEM subjects be made more relevant to the business world? In Russia, the government has invested billions of dollars in an ambitious new development designed to produce researchers and engineers who are better matched with the modern world economy. Skolkova is said to be the innovation city of Russia. Four years ago, the government allocated over 2 billion euros to the development of the city, which will include various clusters, IT, space and nuclear technology among them. The concept is really building today in order to educate for tomorrow. The core of the project is education in STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths. And the Skolkova Institute of Science and Technology, Skoltech, is due to be officially opened this September. I don't think it's obvious today for most people. But if you want to control markets and have a good quality economy, you have to control technologies. In order to have a successful innovation center, you need a technology university at its core. When the Skoltech campus is finished, it will host 1,200 postgrad students. The concept is based on the experiences of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, amongst others. One of the goals is to connect science and business so that STEM subjects become more relevant to real life and more helpful to the economy. It's almost impossible to develop the idea right through to its social impact if you're working alone. You need to work with other people who can deal with aspects you can't. You need to find investors and talk to them in their own languages. You need to find engineers. You need to find sales managers. Other countries are in a better position compared to us. They already have this ecosystem. We have to create this business environment. The Skolkova Foundation has already launched Open University, a project to bring science and business together. We help students use the knowledge they've gained at university in practical ways, like taking technologies to markets, commercializing them. That's one of the goals of the Skolkova Foundation in Russia. And it seems to be working. Private investors and partners are very interested in the ideas pipeline that is being created here. And as of today, the Skolkova Innovation Center has 710 participating companies. And don't forget to keep up with us on our social media pages, where people are agreeing that the way STEM subjects are taught can make a difference. That's it from us for now. Goodbye. 
Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.